Hi, I'm Steve Thompson, Emory Thompson Machine, and today we're going to compare the PacoJet uh, shaved ice and shaved ice cream making machine to a genuine Emory Thompson batch freezer. This is our newest and latest model, the CB100, that makes between one one and a half and two quarts of product every time you run it. Emory Thompson invented the batch freezer, not an Italian company, but Emory Thompson in Nourishelle, New York, 112 years ago. And our business continues to grow. You know us as some of the finest restaurants, hotels, country clubs, virtually every old-fashioned ice cream parlor, Haagen-Dazs, Ben & Jerry, Breyers, Bluebell, these are all because of Emory Thompson. But today we're gonna make a Bordeaux wine sorbet. Actually, I'm using a, a Merlot. So we'll call it Merlot, Merlot wine sorbet uh, with fresh raspberries, sugar, and Merlot. Uh, first, we'll show you how to make this product uh, on the Paco Jet. Uh, if you saw the previous videos, you know that uh, we were making uh, some dairy-free ice cream and we um, started to get the Paco Jet ready. The Paco Jet will actually be ready to make it in another 23 hours and one minute. Uh, so if we were going to make the um, uh, red wine sorbet today, we would take another canister like this and we would pour in our sugar, water, uh, red wine, um, and stir it up and then put it in a freezer for 24 hours. And that's all we would do is stir it up. Uh, there wouldn't be any uh, agitation the way uh, traditional ice cream and sorbets are made uh, by using a freezing cylinder and a, a beater or dasher that spins around and scrapes the product off the walls. So if this is my product, it'll be ready now uh, to make in exactly 23 hours. So we'll put it back in the freezer and let it keep going. That's how you do it with a shaved ice maker uh, like uh, the Paco Jet. Here's what we do. This is a genuine Emory Thompson batch freezer and very good girl, Sammy, good girl. And what we're going to do is mix up all the ingredients. I have uh, my sugar all measured out, uh, water, I use frozen fruit uh, from the supermarket. It's relatively inexpensive and it guarantees me that I can get raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, anything I want any time of year. So I'm going to pour in a bag of that. I know you're going to ask what size bag. That's 12 ounces. And then we're going to take the wine, open that up, and measure that out. Let's see. 375 is what I'm looking for in milliliters. And there we go. Pour that in. And that's all my ingredients. No artificial anything. Move these out of the way. We'll give this a stir. Most people are surprised that sugar dissolves quite easily uh, in uh, cold water. You don't have to cook it. You don't have to spend hours doing this. You don't have to marinate the fruit in it. It's, it's just not necessary. Okay, that's good. Let's pour it into the Emory Thompson CB100. First, I will go over here. This is our dasher. We call it a dasher. Some people call it a beater. And that just slips right in there. The machine drops into the freezing chamber. And when you want to get it out, you're just going to push this lever to raise it up. And let me swing around in front of you. And pour this in. Beautiful. Lower the lid. Jog it a little bit to engage it. And we're ready. We turn on the dasher, turn on the refrigeration. And in a little bit, that'll be our fresh 
uh, Merlot wine sorbet. Just, just that simple. We have enough refrigeration in all our Emory Thompson batch freezers that you can pour wine right in. You don't have to add it at the end. Uh, it can go right in the machine. Of course, the alcohol does not freeze. That's what, minus 240 Fahrenheit? Uh, but it does stay in suspension, and we have enough cold built into our machines that uh, we can make it right in there with it. I can also do liquor uh, ice creams. Uh, we made a uh, limoncello yesterday. Um, we can put in, I can put in vodka, I can put in rum, I can use uh, uh, Kentucky bourbon. Anything you'd like to do can go right into the machine. In the previous uh, uh, video, we just made uh, Oreo cookie dairy-free ice cream, where I just broke the cookies into four pieces between my thumbs and dropped them right in. There's not another machine on the market that you can do that. They'll actually void your warranty if you throw pieces in there. But how else do you get the flavor unless it's right in there? If you're making vanilla ice cream and throwing in cookies, that's not Oreo cookie ice cream. That's uh, vanilla ice cream with Oreo cookies in it. With mine, for every particle of dairy there is, or sorbet or dairy free, there is a particle of uh, cookie right next to it. So um, that's running. And let's go over and see how the Paco Jet's doing. The Paco Jet says it will be ready to shave the ice in 22 hours and 55 minutes. So if you've got a crowd tonight who wants Bordeaux wine sorbet, tell them to come back tomorrow because we're not quite ready. When it is ready, the way it works, now their pot is much smaller than that, but this is a big grinding motor here. And they have a solid block of just sugar, water, uh, liquor, if they're putting that in there. Um, and they're freezing it down solid, solid as a rock. And then this uh, uh, series of blades are going to spin and grind up the product. Uh, that's not ice cream. And that's not dairy-free ice cream. That's not gelato. I, I certainly can't see haagen or Ben & Jerry, two of my customers that we put into business, using a product like this. Uh, it's not real product. And it's certainly not a sorbet. Uh, sorbet needs to be made the old-fashioned way. And those of you who are doing Italian ice, uh, uh, Italian ice uh, sorbet is just a fancy name for Italian ice, sugar, water, and flavor. Uh, so the way this works is you have to manhandle these blades, these razor blades, and put them up into the machine. It's magnetic, and it catches. And then you uh, put the tub under it, and you push a button. And the original Paco Jet 1 would grind the whole tub. The Paco Jet 2, which they charged a thousand dollars, thirteen hundred more for now. I don't think you can get the Paco Jet 1. It will do individual portions, which sounds like a pretty good idea on the surf. Except here's the problem: uh, no longer is the pastry chef uh, making a pot of product. Uh, you have individual uh, wait staff. Uh, someone at the table uh, needs a portion of raspberry sorbet. So they're coming over, your wait staff is playing with razor blades and putting it up in there and then um, grinding it down. Excuse me, I have a complainer. <laughs> What's the matter, Sammy? Um, so your wait staff is playing with this. Well, if you've got a wait staff of 15 or 20 people, do you really want 15 or 20 people playing with razor blades? Oh, and by the way, you lose this and you're looking at a couple hundred dollars. Uh, but I just don't think it's very sanitary for 20 different people to be picking up a razor blade, putting it into a machine, grinding it down, and then here's the real trick. It ground down part way. If you look at their videos, it leaves a hole in the center, and you have to scrape out your portion. Well, I don't think you can ever exactly get a full proper portion because you're hit or miss. Uh, so one person's portion at the table might be four ounces, another one's might be three and three quarter, another one might be three and a half. It's really up to the wait staff who uh, scraped it out of the tub. And uh, I don't know any executive chef uh, who wants to have 20 people running his machine, and I really don't know any owner who wants 20 people uh, from an a, a insurance situation playing with razor blades. 
So, Emory Thompson Batch Freezers, we've been here 112 years. Everything on my machine is made in the USA. It's made by an American family, Emory Thompson. I'm third generation. It's made uh, with all American components, uh, Copeland compressors, which are the best in the world, uh, made in Ohio. And uh, it's made with American labor right down here in a small, sleepy town called Brooksville, Florida. And we make different sizes. This is uh, one and a half to two quarts finished. Uh, over here is uh, uh, three quarts, uh, six quarts. Uh, this is a very popular model, the six quart. Uh, going to 12 quarts or one three gallon tub. Then 24 quarts, which is two three gallon tubs. And then the world's largest machine, the 44 quart, which I don't have here, it weighs 1,200 pounds. And it makes four of these in under 10 minutes. That's a lot of production. And people start off, like I said, haagen Benner & Jerry's, Breyers, Bluebell, they all began as mom and pop businesses. In fact, Reuben Madison and his mother uh, with haagen were only two blocks from our Bronx factory up in New York. And they started with Emory Thompson machines. Ben & Jerry started, uh, they had rock salt and ice machines like this out in front of the public. But what was making the ice cream was the Emory Thompson. That's an old hand crank salt and ice machine. And that's what my grandfather was using when he invented this machine. So we're going to let this run for a few more minutes and then we'll come back and see how the product looks. Okay, the total freezing time was about 20 minutes and it's ready. So let's see what we have with our wine sorbet. Looks pretty good. Just push down on the handle to raise the tub. And up it comes out, and look at that. That is a beautiful, thick product. Let's serve some up. Oh, and you want to start the next batch? Fine. Just drop that in there, put in your dasher, and lower the motor and start. Uh, let's see, I have a glass I'm going to get because I want to show you Executive Chef something special. Nice chilled glass. Looks beautiful. And that beautiful red color is just from the, straw, from the raspberries. No artificial anything. Look how nice and thick that is. That is gorgeous product. That's a pretty big portion. Look at that. Isn't that nice? What would you say, chefs? Seven dollars easily? How about a, uh, a demi portion? Just a little flight. What if you brought uh, five or six of these flights uh, to a table. Wouldn't that be nice? That's a pretty nice presentation too. So if you'd like more information on Emory Thompson batch freezers, you can contact me, Steve Thompson, at steve at emorythompson.com or you can go to our website, emorythompson.com, where the prices are there. Uh, you can have a choice of a ice grinder for about 5400 or a real batch freezer where real fruit goes in, nuts, cookies, candies, wine, sorbets, uh, uh, rum, uh, anything you want to put in can be frozen in Emory Thompson just like that. So let's uh, do take a look before we go and see how the Paco Jet is coming. Uh, we started the Paco Jet a, a little while ago. Okay, we're getting there. We're down to 22 hours and 15 minutes before we can make and serve our first batch of ice cream or dairy-free or sorbet. So it's up to you, chefs. Executive chefs, you have a choice. You can either have, tell your customers to come back tomorrow and we might have some sorbet, some ice cream, uh, some gelato for you. Or tonight, in the same time it takes for a family of four or six to eat their entree, you can be producing a product just like this, fresh, ready to go. Thanks for watching.